Ladies and gentlemen, Tajeray Coley Jackson. There's some perks to being the coach's wife, huh, Mark? Getting her, getting her in there? Certainly was an interpretation there of right. Ray Jackson. All well, right. Well done. There's your guy, Andrew Bogut, strong to the right. <laughs> it was unreal. I, just look at the bench, the crowd, and Andrew Bogut had been talking about, hey, they, Denver, want, if they want to play rough, I'll be the guy. I'll stand there, and I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any one of them. Well, somebody had to step up for Denver. Andre Iguodala coming up with a steal and a slam. 11 points at the half. Golden State is still up by two. Clay Thompson now. Here he Back is again. Bogut, and look at the big fella pull his way to the hoop. Well, good eye, Mike. He's just putting another manimal on the Barbie mm. right there. <laughs> Getting it done. Goes to Kufus to Andre Miller and the three-pointer trying to answer back. Still, it's 33-29. Golden State in front. Carl Landry missing. Bogut staying with it. Tracking this down, slapping it to a teammate. How about that? It is inspirational for them to see Andrew play that way. I really do believe he set the tone. You see the alley-oop up over the top, Steph Fine and Andrew Bogut. Look at the emotion. I mean, just loving being out there. Capable passer, gets it to Jared Jack. Fans loving it at the Oracle. Look, Curry's the star, but I think Jared Jack is really the heart of this team. I mean, he seems like he, he makes him go. No question. He's been great all year. There's that shot we were talking about with Steph Curry. His only field goal of the first half from back there. And then Carl Landry going to work on the post against ex-warrior Anthony Randolph. Carl is capable down there. If he doesn't take time to think about what he's doing, he's a great reactive player. Play with him in Houston. So the Nuggets needing a spark, and that would be Ty Lawson. Another fantastic game to back up number three. Yep, another great battle. But I'll tell you what, if Jared Jack is able to stay with Ty Lawson, Lawson with 26, Jared Jack, he, he had a great game off of the bench. Uh, Warriors are making out. Four-point lead for Golden State. And then this is the third quarter you talked about, a 22-point quarter for Steph Curry who just simply could not miss and put on a show. But I look at who he's being guarded by. Andre Miller was put on an island so many times in these possessions. I'm just not sure why Iguodala was not the guy on him, and maybe George Carl will address that in the press conference. Andre Miller just couldn't stick with him. And I said Jared Jack, he did start in this game, so I apologize, Vince. And there is Curry coming up. Just look for steal. space. Just get space. Like two, bang. Seriously, two to six inches. That means Steph Curry's got room to get that shot off. And look at the crowd at Oracle. 8 of 11 in the third quarter, 5 of 8 from three-point range for Curry. Chandler missing the three. Curry comes up with a rebound. Corey Brewer pokes Curry in the eye during this play. Called for the foul. Curry had to leave the game. He would return, but oh, man, Bones. Yeah. That's, that's happened to a, a lot of players. Had, the game had some good shots of there. You see a Ooh. great shot of uh, the scratch there on Steph Curry's eye. So Mark Jackson tentative to get him back in the game, and especially with the Warriors having the lead, no real need to. Harrison Barnes over the top from Klay Thompson, and you see the bench celebrating. Just a, a great team effort by the Warriors. They just kept coming. Look at that scoring in a 115-101 victory for Golden State uh, over the Denver Nuggets as uh, Curry, 22 of his 31, came in that amazing third quarter. He also had seven assists and Three rebounds, Jared Jack, 21 in the game. And like you said, Bones, just great balance scoring. And now Denver, Denver worked so hard this season for a franchise record in wins, the best home court record. Now they find themselves in a huge 3-1 hole. And again, game five is Tuesday in Denver.